Hello again, welcome to Cheapskate Brewing. Now, for those of you who are already into grain brewing, you may well want to increase your efficiency. Now, some people might say that when you're doing a home brew, efficiency for the little more that you gain is not worth it. But if it means that you can put less grain in for the same amount of beer that you get out with the increased efficiency, then I'm quite sure it's worth it. And if you're home brewing for the fun of it, like I do, the product of beer at the end of it is always worth the little extra effort. Now, if you're handy with a blowtorch, such as this, and some copper pipe, and you can get hold of some fittings, you can make a pump system so that you can sparge your beer while you're brewing it. Now, let me show you how I made mine. First, I made a 15mm T-piece with soldered end caps to fit the bottom of the pot. Then I cut slots in the underside for the warped input. I made a shaped hooked outlet to fit the mash pot with the reducer to 10mm for the pipe connection. I put the T-piece into the pot and connected it to the pump system with an 8mm silicon tube used as a push fit over the 10mm copper pipe. It holds nicely without clips. I previously made a pump kit with a bypass and a mid-position sight tube to see the walk for clarity. This is the kit circulating hot water to clean out the pump circuit. I did this before connection to the wart and after every brew. I used the bypass outlet in the centre to draw through liquid to prime the pump before switching on or the pump could burn out. Here the top T-piece with push fit end caps is shown gently running, circulating the wart. It is likely the temperature will drop slowly while the pump is running, so the wart temperature return can be taken at the top while a little heat is applied in the mash tun. This will allow you to control the temperature of the water running around the circuit and returning to the grain. This pump is a small aquarium type 12 volt pump connected to a transformer. The transformer is not supplied with the pump, but it's one I had left over from other equipment. Details of the pump which I bought on Amazon are below. Well I hope you found that useful. If you did, tell me about it. If you've got any other ideas, tell me about them as well. And anyway, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and like the video. That's always useful to me and it costs you nothing. I'll see you next time.